Hello my friends. Here we're going to look at the condition of the greenhouse and what needs done to get it up and running. You can see here my exhaust fan. I have a thermostatic control unit in here. It's functioned flawlessly since I put it in and it's probably running for three years untouched. The winter time is the time I seal the greenhouse up. This will be unplugged and uh, I don't exhaust the air out of the greenhouse in the winter. This section of grow bed collapsed. Uh, it was a mechanical or a engineering mistake. Um, it's a mistake on my build. It's something that I overlooked. Um, when I did the structure, the, the uh, barrels slipped off of this support. And the reason it slipped off the support was if you look right here, there's not a filler block. I needed the filler block to kick this support further under the tank. Next to it, you can see right here, the barrel is completely supported, and this is the filler block that I'm talking about. This was overlooked when I built the structure. So that was uh, not part of the catastrophic failure. That was a engineering mistake on my part. It's a piece that I did not include when I put that section together. So that was my failure there. So to repair that I have to empty, completely empty the barrels because they're too heavy to move and then uh, remove that support and stick it further under so that it can hold the weight. This is my tower area. I removed the drain. Uh, you can see uh, this is all this greenery is mint. Mint is very invasive. If you don't keep tabs on it, it'll just keep going. Uh, this I'm still giving to the restaurant. Uh, I got basically an unlimited supply here. And the nasturtiums, uh, they they like to grow real well, so they're still functioning good. But the towers, I have to put the uh, drain system in, remove the uh, mint out of this area, and uh, hook it back up to the sump tank, the drains. And then all the overhead, all the plumbing is still there. It just needs to be reconnected. And what I'm going to do is only put the towers in that's being plant or going to be planted in, and we can add the towers as we're adding the uh, adding to the system and that will be the apprentice's job to add the towers as they're being needed. Okay the sump tank or the uh, floating raft bed you can see it's dry and uh, so I'm still using a bubbler to st start seedlings. Uh, that's what this floating raft bed does great is starting uh, cuttings. Um, this is dry because I uh, unplugged the intake, so it's ready to function. The uh, sump tank itself right here, it's topped up, and you can see right here that's the automatic float valve. The water is still on, so if this level drops, it will replace the water. So, and th this is where the upper second pump is located, right in this barrel. And this is an intake from the flood and drain uh, beds. And that water that's coming into there will be filtered a lot better. Here I took a section of the flood and drain uh, beds and emptied them and put soil in and I grew this summer I grew conventional plant in the soil um, and I'm starting to pull everything out because it's the fall um, but one thing that I did is I unplugged the drains and the, now these drain into uh, containers uh, underneath and I use that water 
to water the plants and what it's doing is picking up whatever nutrients that will leach through the soil drops into there and I'm rewatering with that so I think that's uh, possibly has some good potential so I'm going to experiment with that a little bit more and here you can see a lot of plants here's my radium weed I got some uh, tropical trees growing those are going to go to Florida with me um, the radium weed I'm trying to give it to a lot of people to get it established in our area and uh, it's being used and it works very well. Here's my uh, fish tanks. Uh, you can see here the temperature gauge. Uh, it's still functioning. The tanks itself, I pulled the uh, stand-up pipes off and you can see here in the bottom of the tank the heating elements. Uh, to keep the water control the water temperature that's coming in and all this is functioning I just sh drained the tanks and uh, shut it all off so it's just a matter of refilling them and uh, putting fish back in there and I think we'll start with the goldfish of course uh, until we can find a source at this time of the year to get some tilapia and I think with this system from my experience with growing the other fish tilapia is the one to be uh, growing in here um, they're easier to take care of they seem to stay healthier when they get sick you just raise the temperature of the water up and they get better well now we're gonna go from there thanks for watching my friends bye bye